Okay, so we have the moon in Gemini energy going void, of course, at 4.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're locking into Cancer energy at 4.52 p.m. So first of all, the moon is in her rulership in Cancer energy, bringing up all the feels, sucking us into our inner realm in order to figure out what it is that we need. What do we absolutely need for emotional safety and security? What do we need to nurture ourselves back to a place of strength? This is going to definitely pop off some aha moments and again, setting us up for the new moon popping off in Cancer Energy on Friday, July 5th at that 14th degree. So as we kind of enter into the dark phase of the moon, again, we have no illumination in the sky. We have to sit with ourselves, trust our gut, trust our intuition, understand what is ending and therefore what is creating the space for a new beginning to actually take place especially where new worth, new value, new wants, new needs, new desires are concerned for our own personal happiness. So we definitely have a lot of learning to do. Tapping into that observation type of mentality and perspective by reviewing where it is that we're coming from, what it is that we were lacking, what it is that we would prefer to be experiencing instead, that is going to create the framework on what this new moon in Cancer is going to be about. So with all of that being said, there are nine different aspects taking place here today. Eight of them are going to involve the moon. The moon, while still in Gemini energy, again, opening up our mental plane, processing different perspectives, different options, seeing things from a different set of eyes. The moon is going to be making a positive interaction with Venus, the goddess of love, beauty, worth, pleasure, and money in the Cancer energy. So this is going to be the beginning of the aha moments, the epiphanies, the light bulb moments on what it is that we actually need. What do we want? What do we desire? What can we do in the present moment here and now in order to build ourselves up? What kind of values are shifting within us? What is becoming more important? Where are our priorities? This is going to again trigger and activate new perspectives, new ideas, new options for us to percolate over as we enter into this new moon window. The moon in Gemini then going to make a positive interaction with the north node in Aries energy, that north node trying to get us on the right path. And that path just happens to be a solo quest, a individual quest and adventure in order for us to find our personal strength, our personal power for us to get to know thyself and essentially put us in a situation to heal thyself as well. The moon in Gemini making this positive interaction with the North Node in Aries is definitely illuminating some paths, some options, some opportunities to move forward where it is that we are growing through what it is that we're currently going through. The moon will then sextile beautiful interaction with Chiron, the wounded healer in this Aries energy, helping us with this rebranding, with this ego identity crisis, this merging of the ego with the higher self. This particular energy is putting into perspective where it is that we're opening up to new ideas, to new options. We're opening up to seeing ourselves in a new set of eyes, a new light. We are identifying our strengths instead of our weaknesses. We are definitely feeling more empowered, more in control than ever. And we're starting to accept that this new version of self is a badass, is sticking around, is going to lead the charge into this new karmic chapter. The moon then going to make a positive interaction with Pluto, the great transformer himself, retrograde in this Aquarius energy, highlighting the power struggle within us and of course pushing us into the path that has us our most improved self. The moon interacting with Pluto definitely going to intensify our thoughts, our ideas, our emotions, because a major shift is taking place, putting us in a placement of power, putting us more in control over our thoughts, over our emotions, over our actions, now more so than ever. The moon is then going to make a positive interaction with Uranus, the great awakener himself, who's in this Taurus energy, trying to show us where it is in our physical realms we have become too fixated, too stagnant, too much in a state of paralysis, where it is that we have to open up our mind, open up our heart space to adopting new methods, making spontaneous change, a pivot point in our physical realms to put us on a brand new path. 
Of course, all of those things were a very positive influence, positive shift. This is at 9.29 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. We sit in all of this energy building, all of these positive moods, all of these epiphanies, all of these shifts until 4.44 p.m. At 4.44 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, the moon in Gemini going to get in the boxing ring square off with Neptune, who, of course, is now retrograde in Pisces energy. So a square is a tension, is a conflict in order for growth to actually take place. This is essentially where it is that emotionally speaking, the moon in Gemini energy has us more aligned with the logical, practical plan and path that, of course, we have wrecked our brains in order to kind of figure out the pros and cons about. But what's missing is our intuition. What's missing is imagination. What's missing is hope. And that's where Neptune comes in. Neptune, of course, is our spirituality, our intuition, our imagination, our creativity. It is the metaphysical realm. It's our spiritual journey. And so although many of us still very heavily reliant on information and details of this materialistic realm to dictate what is the most favorable path, direction, option, and opportunity for us to take, we have to let our intuition in. We have to really allow our hope our wishes, our dreams to have a say in the way that we are choosing to kind of propel ourselves in this new chapter, in this new direction. It is at this particular point in time that the moon is going to go void, of course, so things get shaky, things get uncertain, things get unstable. We're going to second guess ourselves. We're going to kind of pick apart and dissect a lot of the good ideas that we've been having, a lot of the light bulb moments that definitely popped off earlier in the day. And lucky for us, we're only sitting in this void for about 15-ish, 20 minutes until we shift into that cancer energy. Now, the transition from the moon being in Gemini energy to cancer energy, we're moving out of the headspace, out of the debate, if you will, between the two choices, options, and decisions. Now we have to feel our way through. That's where the cancer energy comes in. We're hypersensitive. We're aligned with our intuition. We really need to kind of just allow our physical body to respond to some of the ideas that we're currently having. 7.11 p.m. We have our very first moon in Cancer aspect and it is a toughie. It is a not so nice interaction with Pluto, the great transformer. So this is where the intensity of the dark phase of the moon begins. We have to move inward. We really have to kind of sit where it is that we're not feeling so hot, where we're not feeling so confident, where we're feeling a little bit paranoid about this certain circumstance that we are trying to wrap up. Again, reminder, the minute that we hit this new moon in Cancer at 14 degrees, we reach that 15 degree mark shortly thereafter, which means we're halfway through Cancer season. And this is the pivot point where we start pulling ourselves out of reflecting over the past and we start becoming more present and start building towards our future selves. But we have to recognize what it, that what doesn't feel good, what we no longer want to experience, where it is that we're having some negative thoughts, some negative feelings, because that is the motivation, the fire, the fuel, if you will, to spark change. Now, 11.39 p.m., Mercury, which is the only aspect that doesn't involve the moon here today, Mercury, ruler of the mental plane, ruler of information, communication, how it is that we express ourselves in the heart and soul of the Zodiac in this Leo energy, going to make a very awkward interaction with Saturn, the Lord of Karma, who is retrograde in Pisces energy. So this is going to definitely put us in a little bit more of a negative Nancy type of mood, type of attitude. Our inner dialogue is definitely going to take a hit. We're not feeling bold and brave and courageous like that Leo energy, typically speaking, pushes us into. Instead, we're the cowardly little kitten. We're not a lion. We're a kitten. And we're curled up in a ball and we're went, went over ourselves and we are falling apart, especially where our heart wants us to pursue something new. The doubts, the fears, the insecurities are definitely getting the best of us at this particular junction and we are hypersensitive and we are agitated and we are just not in a happy place. 
Now, again, we're entering into the dark phase of the moon. All of these not so nice thoughts and feelings have to happen in order for us to reach a breakdown breaking point in order for us to have a breakthrough point. So yeah, we may be focused on the problems. Yeah, we may be overly sensitive and crying about the things that, you know, didn't work out for us. But again, we need to put this in perspective in order for us to rise up, for us to really align with a new sense of power and control over our thoughts, over our feelings, over our circumstance. And from the breakdown, a true revelation of change is definitely going to take place. So the last thing that we have going on here today is the moon in this cancer energy semi squaring, creating a little bit of tension and conflict with Mars, the god of war ruling over our physical energy, our drive, our passion, our desire, even our anger in Taurus energy. So we are going to get frustrated. We're going to get agitated. We're going to be a little bit angry. We are in a particular state of paralysis, a stagnancy, if you will, because we have not built our inner realm up strong enough to a new level of self-worth, a new level of self-esteem, a new level of self-confidence. That's what Mars is trying to do. We are trying to build an excitement. We're trying to build an inspiration. We're trying to build a motivation and determination to actually blaze a brand new path but we're not there yet many of us do not have the patience required for this particular transitional phase the moon is definitely going to trigger and activate all of the heavier emotions all of the frustrations all the agitations to come out to play pay attention to these particular thoughts and emotions as they are very powerful to indicate for us what it is that we are done with, what it is that we can no longer stand, where it is that we have a certain level of passion, even if anger is the fuel to the fire, for us to realize what we have to close the door on, what we have to let go in order for us to pivot, to start fresh, to start new, to start stabilizing our physical and emotional realm and start building a brand new path and a brand new direction where of course our higher self is now in control and taking the lead.